Hello everyone and welcome to the review of the Blitzwolf JS uh, Jump Starter and this is a combination of a uh, car jump starter and uh, LiPo power bank and uh, this uh, has some strange specifications uh, which some are kind of conflicting because you have this uh, 12,000 milliamps uh, capacity with 44.4 watt hour it has several voltages but uh, we are going to detail what's the 12,000 milliamp here, which is actually not correct, but uh, kind of uh, not false either. It's a bit more complicated. So in the box, you are going to get the manual, which is uh, in, uh, written in several languages, which is pretty good, and instructions of how to use this are pretty clear. We get some foam here for the parts that are included not to rattle during transport and we get these uh, alligator clips that will clip to your battery and this uh, strange or odd looking box uh, and this is a protection uh, box here uh, we are going to discuss that also and we get some USB cables one is uh, USB type C the other one is micro USB uh, this can uh, these these cables can be used also for charging and also for uh, not only charging the power bank but actually also uh, using the power bank to charge your mobile phone or other devices we get this small leaflet here with uh, warranty information and the battery itself the case is really nice as it has this clip here and the battery is protected it has foam around this is a hard case pretty nice for uh, storing it in uh, the car and the power bank it's uh, uh, water resistant and it has this nice rubber cap that covers all the plugs while around this uh, uh, case it has a silicone sealing and this should uh, protect it from uh, even uh, direct rain if you are going to open the cap Inside you are going to find the main discharge port. This is for connecting the adapter here. You have two regular USB ports, one uh, micro USB and also USB Type-C. This supports quick charge and this is where the instructions or uh, specifications come in place. So with quick charge you get 5 volts, 9 volts and 12 volts. So this will quick charge your mobile phone, tablets and so on. And it's going to do that uh, very fast. And let's do a quick test of the charge, fast charging to see if uh, it's working or not. So I'm going to use this uh, charge tester. I'm going to connect it to this USB cable. And then I'm going to connect one of the USB discharge ports here. And this should start and show up some voltage. So it has 5 volts. And that's the current used by this uh, tester device. And I'm going to connect my mobile phone now and it's starting to charge normal charge and now quick charge and let's see if the voltage here will change so from 5 volts it jumped to 6 point something volts and the amps went over too so this is indeed fast charging the mobile phone right now so quick charge works you can see the voltage is actually increasing a bit so it varies now the phone uh, negotiates the power and the power bank is providing as it should all right and now with the more interesting part so this is rated for uh, 800 uh, amps of discharge current uh, that's kind of just a statement because here in the manual in the specifications list you are not going to see that anywhere written you are going to find specification about the USB ports and you get here information about the 12 volt system that it is intended for up to 5 liter gasoline engines and uh, 3 liter diesel engines but there is no information regarding the uh, total discharge current that it's possible with it you do get a lot of other things but not that one which should be really important right and you get this device and it has a button here which don't press the button before connecting car battery press three seconds after this is a four start button well the idea is the following this has a, a lithium polymer battery inside and beside uh, that this is a bit different from most cheap uh, jump starter because this has a four cell 
uh, lithium polymer battery, usually these devices only have three cells. And that means that when this is not full, and when I mean full, it means to be over 90% charge, it will not start any kind of car because three cells of lithium ion barely have 12.6 volts when they are fully charged. So the voltage is kind of low to start the car because that's a full car battery has 12.8 volts when it's resting and it's 100% charged. So with a discharge car battery and putting only 12.6 volts, considering voltage loss uh, with voltage drop and so on, you are go going to barely be able to start the car if this is not full. Uh, this model has four cells and that means the nominal voltage is 14.8 uh, volts and um, when it's fully charged it actually has uh, 16 0.8 volts so a lot more headroom and this will not only charge your battery but will be actually able to start the car this uh, protection thing it's a kind of a battery detector polarity detector so when uh, you jump start the car and you have thick cables and a fully charged battery and a dead battery we are going to simulate a dead battery with this um, when you are going to connect you are going to get a huge spark between uh, the cables because current will flow uh, fast from the charge battery to the discharge battery and this comes into place uh, this will scan to see if the clips are connected to a battery and only after that it will connect the electric source from here to the electric source here so the current will flow but I'm not going to get a spark because these are connected what happens when the battery is dead, such as this one, so I want to jump start the car, but this will not output power because this has zero volts because it's totally dead. It has the force start button here, so I'm going to press that for three seconds. And now I'm pumping current into this battery, uh, regardless of its state. So now I have a full voltage from here into this battery. And that's for emergency. Otherwise, if the battery from the car is just partially discharged, not able to start the car but still has voltage, this should be enabled automatically by this uh, protection. Also, this has a second role when the car uh, starts and it starts to charge the battery. You don't want that current to go into this. And this has two safety features. It automatically stops and also it will not allow the current to pass back into the power bank. And now the talk about the stated capacity here, 12,000 milliamps, 44.4 watts hour. Uh, that's kind of strange because this one has 2,000 milliamps and it also has 76 or 75 uh, watt hour. It's, here it is, 74. So these are similar in size but uh, this one has a lot more capacity while this it doesn't count up because it has four cells inside so if it had four cells and this is just one cell and this one has 2000 milliamps and this one has 20000 milliamps it's not right so uh, let's determine the true capacity so 44.4 watts hour this one uh, we divide by the uh, total nominal voltage which is 14.8 uh, volts and that results in the true cell capacity which is 3000 milliamps so why did they write 12000 milliamps well they added the capacity of each cell so this has four cells each with 3000 milliamps so 3000 milliamps times uh, four it means 12000 milliamps they gave this rating here to be comparable with a normal power bank because this one has only one single cell that has 20,000 milliamps. This has four cells that each cell has 3,000 milliamps. And when you add up the cells, the capacity actually doesn't increase. But this one has a 5 volt rating with one cell and uses a circuit that increases the voltage from the nominal voltage of a light lithium polymer cell to 5 volts while this one has a step down converter and this will have a lot more voltage from which it has to decrease to 5 volts so if you compare 
this at 5 volts actually it's like discharging four cells but it's not correct they should have stated 3000 milliamps but uh, in China when you want to sell a product you need to increase the specifications because there are a lot of fake ones and you need to counter them some, somehow so the capacity is not true it's 3000 milliamps but if you charge a mobile phone so let's say this mobile phone this mobile phone will charge with 12,000 milliamps approximately uh, actually kind of 85% uh, counting the, the, uh, the charge losses while this will also output 20,000 milliamps and I can use 85% of that so the capacity it's similar when you are charging a mobile phone but it's not comparable when you are using the full voltage so if I charge a car battery I only have 3 amps but that's enough to put some uh, charge back into the battery and jump start the car and regarding the discharge current which is not stated anywhere actually when you use this type of uh, jump starters it's recommended that you connect this to the battery and leave it there connected for some of the current from here to charge the battery before actually starting to uh, trying to start the car and that will reduce the strain on this because even though these are rated some up to 2000 amps and things like that this uses a regular EC3 connector which is rated for a much uh, smaller current than uh, even 800 amps so it's not actually possible to get all that current well you are going to get it but for very short bursts and it will heat up all the system nonetheless you are going to be able to start the car last but not least you are also going to get the flashlight here it activates by holding the button here press for a few seconds uh, it's a decent flashlight to locate your uh, charging terminals on the battery if it's uh, dark outside and also if you press the button it switches to several uh, modes such as strobe and uh, things like that also holding it pressed uh, it will turn it off directly or you can switch to modes until it uh, switches off and you get only this simple indicator here which represents about 25% capacity remaining so as a final conclusion this is very good because it has four cells and not three cells like usual jump starters so this will start your car even if it has only two remaining uh, battle LEDs here so with 50% capacity this is still able to start your car while the others will not do anything about it it also has this smart uh, protection here uh, and with this four start button it's also a nice addition because you are going to jump start even absolutely dead batteries which again on some kind of uh, uh, jump starter is not possible because most of them has this pro have this protection included but they have a smart circuit that detects the battery and when it's dead it will not detect it and with no means of turning this on you are still stranded so that's useful use useful for nothing so with this button you are going to press it and still be able to start the car so I hardly recommend this because it's cheap uh, you can charge your mobile phone with it like a usual power bank for several times because it does have this capacity when charging phones and it will start your car if it's not a big truck so you get all of those into one single device and that's pretty nice and with the added travel case here it's kind of pretty good value so until my next video see you and bye bye